Um, I'll just go with Coach, I think, keep it more simple. Um, Coach, you led the side back in 2011, Rugby World Cup. What, what lessons did you take from that experience and what have you been passing on to the squad? Well, I guess it's now I'm in the stage I'm uh, involved in the coaching stuff. I guess it's just um, how we can cope with pressure, especially these big games uh, we've got the next couple of weeks. So uh, the last couple uh, couple of days we've been um, we've been talking about that. How can we um, the transition from from attack and defence and try and apply pressure against Argentina? So we're looking forward to that challenge. Next question, please. Question for coach. Uh, Theo McFarland usually plays uh, lock. Uh, what do you expect from him uh, as flanker? Please. I, I can't hear. Uh, I don't understand. Can, can you ask that question? Theo plays lock, but what do you expect from him playing six? Like oh. uh, Fyodor? Right, at the moment, um, Fyodor is, um, you know, he's an athlete and he's. Is uh, regional position six, play a lot of games and uh, at number six. So we're, we're we're trying to get him out there, be freely, and you know get get him involved in the game a lot more. And especially these uh, test matches, we've got to make sure that uh, we take every opportunity that we had and trying to use our speed to get the ball out wide as well. So yeah. Um, coach, what are you expecting from Argentina? It was maybe hard to get much from that opening game given the way England played and constricted them. But, but what are you expecting the challenge to be that you're going to have to face? It's going to be a tough challenge for us. You know, the physicality as well. So that's basically that's the um, Argentina's uh, the game involved a lot in basics, uh, set piece, set piece game. So. We're aware of what they bring on the field, and like I said before, you know we're looking forward for the challenge and what Argentina is going to bring on tomorrow's game. Um, and as a hooker yourself, the two hookers Argentina have got are sort of legends of the game. Is just a word on on them and what they've brought to the? Oh, you can see, um, you can tell the hookers are the smartest players on the field uh, in the team. So. Yeah, I play uh, against the um, the coach. Played with him um, a couple of years ago, and it's good to see him. He's involved, and I know what he's um, he's been coaching his forwards and what the, uh, what what we expect from them as well. So we're looking forward for the challenge. Question for uh, two more one. Um, I see a few strappings here and there on your body and there was a little rumour that you were injured during our match against uh, Chile. How are you handling yourself uh, heading towards uh, the game against Argentina tomorrow? Uh, for me, you know, um, as you can see, uh, I've got a little, you know, just a tiny bit. Um, but it's not going to, you know, uh, it's not going to affect the way I play, and uh, for me, I'm just going to focus this game week by week. Um, I'm not going to focus too much about what's going to happen after, but for now, I'm just really focused on uh, on this game on the weekend. But in terms of uh, injuries, uh, I'm 100% ready for for the weekend. So. Next question, please. Yeah. Um, and coach, just is it performance that you're focused on at the weekend, or or purely result? Uh, I guess as um, 
last week was our first game uh, we had for the last two weeks, two to three weeks. And I guess it's coming into the, the world. World rugby is all about winning. So we're, we're, we're focused. We're, we're, we're focused getting getting that W tomorrow. So we do anything we can do, make sure we get that game. And if if that ended up being playing in a English type of way, if you like, and putting away the the Samoan flair, that you, you would embrace that. Yeah, well. We we'll embrace the game tomorrow. We 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 know exactly what we expect tomorrow, and I guess the uh, Samoans we love the physicality, so we're looking forward to it. And I know it's going to be some sore body tomorrow, so we're just going to throw everything into it for this game. Is, is there a sort of uh, a sadist part of Samoan culture? You know that love of of sore bodies or people looking forward to that, if you like. I guess that's uh, that's in our DNA. And uh, it's, it's the way we play. And, you know, it's going to be tough tomorrow, especially Argentina supporters will be here tomorrow. So it's going to be <clears throat> our, our people back home will probably clue to the TV tomorrow. And I know our boys will put on a good performance and make them proud. Question for uh, Coach. Uh, has there been enough uh, matches for Maru Samoa preparing for the Rugby World Cup this year? Uh, I guess I don't want to make any excuse. You know, I guess that this is the World Cup and we make the most of what we had. We had a few games. We played the, the Barbers and uh, Test match against Ireland as well two, two, three weeks ago. And I guess and when it comes to the World Cup, you know, we've got to pull everything together as a group, make sure we get a win and, and get a good result. Um, question for Talaini. Um, obviously, huge pack on the Samoan side and a huge pack on the Argentinian side, and they're so well known for their scrummaging. What's it like? Can you take us in the middle of a, a scrum? What, what, what's it like being in there? And would you ever let your your son or daughter be a second row? Uh, they call it the uh, the engine room for a reason. So you know, not you know, not many people can be in there and. Um, <clears throat> being there effectively and do their job well. Um, there's only a certain few in the world, um, like top of my head, like Brody Retallick, um the Eben um, Itzabiths. So um, I think, you know, it takes a special skill set to be able to be in a, be in a scrum and um, you got to love it. you got to love it to be in there. So, um, you know, it's not... It's not for everybody. Question for uh, Talini. Um, Talavozo, I see you're coming off the bench. What are you looking forward to uh, to be doing on the field when you get on or when you get a chance? Uh, I just, when I get on the field, I just want to do my job, but Obviously, obviously, I'll be trying to get the ball in my hands to, um, you know, get some gain line or on defense. You know, like like coach said, um, smashing somebody or um, bringing that physicality. So, um, obviously, I've played against the Jaguars and in, in Super Rugby, so I know what to expect from these guys. Um, it's going to be a tough match, and you know, it's it could go either way, but um, you got to win it up front first. So, yeah. Looking forward to it um, and looking forward to bringing some impact off the bench. Next question, please. Um, Tamura, your, your partnership with um, your centre partner, Uje, is obviously crucial. H how do you build that relationship together? Um, do you spend a lot of time off the field doing things, and what would they be, and how do you get that chemistry? 
Uh, can you repeat it again, please? Yeah, sorry, your, your partnership with your fellow centre is, is pretty key. How do you build that relationship? Uh, well, for me, we, we, we could understand how we um, play together and um, understand um, the way um, Zewateni play so we can uh, create something um, unique and something um, important that is going to help the team. So that's really important for me. So it's how I adjust to the way he play. And um, also he he can adjust the way I play. So, um, you know, and also spending time off the field, it's really important so we can uh, create uh, that good uh, relationship together. So, um, you know, when it comes to the game, we sort of um, have that trust in between us and the way we play. So. Question for coach. Um, ejection of uh, Ben Lamb tomorrow. Uh, what does that do for the Manu Samoa against Argentina? I guess there was a few questions being asked me about Ben Lamb. You know, um, you know, it's good to have him back. He played a huge part of our attack, and uh, we're looking forward to what he's going to bring. You can see the guy's got gift of speed and a bit of power as well. It's about six foot five, and it's like another extra loose forward. So, you know, uh, it's a great time to have him back. So we're looking forward to what he's going to bring tomorrow. And uh, what's the message, uh, Coach, to all the Samoans around the world that are that are watching? Uh, you know, because there's a great opportunity here as well to say something about our people back home. You know, it's, it's been a long couple of weeks for us, and we we understand what our supporters back home are doing and what they're waiting for. So we will pray to God that we'll produce the result that they expect and put smile on our people back home. So we thank you for your support, supporting us, and uh, we hopefully we will make you guys proud. Next. No more question. One, two, three. Okay, I think we're good. Thank you very much. Thank you.